Welcome to Atticon Plays Pharaoh, A New Era. All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Series 1, Episode 25 of our playthrough of Pharaoh, A New Era, as we play the campaign mission. So we are in the Middle Kingdom. We just finished Thinnis, which was a very challenging military mission, and we're faced with the choice between Minak Khufu and Kabet. So let's see what they are. Minute Khufu, and yes, uh, you guys were right, this minus 1951 means uh, 1,951 years B.C. So 1951 B.C., I'm not sure why it doesn't say 1951 B.C., but uh, that's what that is, that's the date. So this is called reunification, large population, 7,000, high culture, good prosperity, good king, high, pretty high kingdom rating, and a small mud brick pyramid, interesting. A small obelisk and another small obelisk. So that's not too hard. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a twist as to how we get the uh, pieces for this. And that 7,000 population, that's pretty, pretty big. And 60 culture, that's a real culture. But I really, you know me, I like the military ones. Let's go see what the other one is. I really do not remember these at all uh, from the old days playing Pharaoh. Kibet. It's also a reunification. Well, I don't, I, I don't know. It's the same big population, but this time it's just three, a large and two small obelisks. I'm thinking this one's probably a little, well, they actually considered higher rating, 31, 85, 45, a little lower culture. I'm thinking this one might be the more military of the two. I really don't remember either of them at all. So let's just let's just go with this one. Um, Kibet, culture rating of 40. We'll keep that in mind as we go. Figure out how to do these monuments and how in the world to get up to 7,000 people in Pharaoh. Your family's performance during the Civil War has not gone unrewarded. I, Pharaoh Mentuhotep, have awarded your family the rank of Vizier. There is no one in all of Egypt that I trust more than you. Now that the twin kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt are reunited, and the capital at Wast is thriving, I need you to help me solidify my position throughout the kingdom. While reunited, Egypt is prone to internal skirmishes, particularly in areas that were once loyal to the Henenesu rulers. To help solidify our new union, I want you to rebuild and defend Kebet. Kebet should be a glorious city that shows Egypt's citizens what is possible under my rule. This city comes under frequent attack from remaining loyalist cities such as Khmun, and you must be sure to defend your city's borders. Famine still stalks the country, and frequent requests for food will come to you from other cities in the kingdom. Respond as quickly as you can to their heart-rending pleas, so that all Egypt will know my benevolence and the dedication of my most trusted vizier. I know that I am asking much of you, but there is no one else in Egypt capable of doing this difficult task. All right, so uh, we went through this already. 7,000, that's a lot of people. 40 culture, 45, and these three monuments. Now, let's pause and have a look around. We got a lot of money. Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember this. I do remember this. Uh, it's a pain is what it is. Okay, okay. We've inherited a mess. We've got, what's this, an archer fort. We've got this little block here, and we've got some whatever this is out here. These walls are supposed to help you defend, right? So what you would do, like in the old game, we would copy this, we would put it over here, and, and put in another gate, maybe the clean this up, put the thing in, put a gate in, and we, What's this over here? Another archer fort. And we would um, uh, recruit people to be on these towers. 
And then we would try to defend, like set up our defenses when the, if the enemy came in, we'd set up our defenses against that and back up against these towers. And it was tough, and I think I probably made it tougher than it needed to be through some poor play. So um, I, I think uh, what we will do is just blow up these walls and get out here and build ourselves a big city and decide how we want to do that. I may even go off and do a little bit of research. We don't have the farming. Well, there's some up here. We can get a little bit. Let's just see what we've got to work with. All right, looks like we got all the usuals. Okay, that's cool. Now we've got fig farms, flax farms, so we can do linen, and fishing wharf, so we can fish. Okay, a lot of our food will come from fishing off the river here. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, there's just all this over here. Ooh, is that, uh, <laughs> is that gold up there? Are there gold in their hills? Oh, yeah, we've got all this, too. All right, all right, all right. Ah, no problem. Uh, let's see, irrigation, fishing wharfs, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, got a dock, we'll do doing trade. We're on the river. Um, production, here, here's what matters. Here's what matters. Shipwright, granite quarry, and I have a feeling our obelisks are... Uh, Large obelisk is 200 granite and 100 granite. And I think I think we have to do two of those. I think. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, entertainment, Senate and the regular, regular military. We've got navy and army. And ship. Oh, look at this! For the first time, we have boyers. These are the ones who upgrade your archers. Right, and the shield maker upgrades your uh, infantry. Interesting. Okay, good. Uh, that'll be interesting to play with. And um, who we got here? We got Seth, Ra, and Osiris. Seth, Ra, and Osiris. Well, that's a good. One. They're all good. They're all useful in one way or another. So what we got? Osiris is our main one, so we should be able to. I would say if we can get that temple, do we have a temple? We don't have any temple. Oh, we do. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. We can choose. I think you can only build one. Maybe we can have both. Can you do that? Uh, there's Seth. Nope. See? You, you gotta choose one or the other. Okay, okay. So we, I, I, well, that, that's an interesting choice. Do we have Osiris and have everybody uh, build those altars, which are the altar and the oracle, which then makes our hunting better, which we can't hunt. Oh, it would make our fishing better, and it would make our uh, folks consume less. So it'd be much easier to maintain that big population. Or do we need so much help because the military is so hard on this one that uh, we would um, want the Oracle to Seth to make him really happy? Although I feel like I don't feel like the altar and the Oracle to Seth are that, that awesome, honestly. Now, production do we have gold? We do. We can do gold out here. Can we do copper? That's even better. There we go. We could do copper, which is actually worth more than gold, honestly. Uh, oh, we got two spots where there's uh, there's plenty of it. So I'm thinking maybe what I'm seeing is perhaps a large worker block in here, and this is going to be our production area. So we would have we'll have our docks and uh, and shipwright. And we'll have, um, you know, go, to, you know, coming off of that, we'll have a, a loop to get maybe, maybe we'll do all copper down here and go up. I don't know. Let's, let's, uh, I'm ahead of myself. Oh, we do have clay pits. Nice. All right. We have clay pits and we have potters and brewers and weavers and jewelers. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like we have, we don't have any, um, 
Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. We have gemstone mines and jewelers and copper for our weapons and gold. Man, oh, man. I, have a, I, I, I think the key to this one is just going to be surviving, particularly right at the beginning. Uh, because, but we've already we start with two forts, so if we can clean this up and get ourselves recruit recruiting going right away, um, I'm going to restart this. But I want to run it for just a, a moment and get those numbers. Uh, we have unemployment, right? So we could go in here and do some quick cleanup, straighten up this block, and make it a recruiting block for our uh, recruit, and maybe plan on coming back later and blowing it all up. You know, just blowing it up and extending it out into a, a nice, healthy block. And we'll have a, I think we'll probably have a, a big luxury block somewhere too, um, because we can do the linen, we can, we can do jewelry to, have, to provide a luxury good, Looks like we even got some great. Can we hunt? Uh, we can't hunt, but we've got great hunting right up here. We've got a spawn uh, area for antelope right up here. Oh, we also got <laughs> crocodiles. Hmm, okay. Uh, ah, let's look at our trade. That's the only thing we really need to know now. All right, so we are where? We are. Here, we're in Quebec. So Wast will buy figs, which we can grow, but we're not selling food. Uh, they sell clay and pottery, stone, limestone. They sell copper and granite. I, zero to open the trade, land trade. That's a good price, but I don't see any point in it. Um, barley, wood. Ah, here we go. Hides. Yes. We get hides to make uh, shields for our infantry. And they buy fish, which, again, I don't see us selling food. We might, but I don't see it. Buhin sells barley and beer. They buy wood. We don't care. Copper. See, we could sell copper at a great profit. Uh, yeah. And let's just, before we start making a real plan here, let's think, let's look at the prices, okay? Let's go to our commerce guy and look at, uh, like, for example, we know gold when you, when you get one gold, it's 100, 100 demons. But if we look at uh, copper exporting 185, so it's better than gold. And all you have to do is, you know, mine it. That's it. It's ready to go. Get it to a place where you can ship it out. We can sell jewelry for 150. We can sell linen for 160. I forget, do, can we... Uh, yes, we can we can grow flax. Beautiful. Uh, there's lots of ways to make money here, but, but I can promise you we need to get on it because uh, if we don't, we're not going to be able to afford the military that we're going to need very, very quickly. Uh, uh, clay. Look at this composite bows. Yeah, we could buy composite bows for a fortune, or we can get wood for less and then and then have a boy a boyer or boyer, however you say that. Uh, do we have such? Yes, we do. We have the boyer. We'll just get a boyer and get some wood and make composite bows. Can we can we sell the things? Sometimes weapons can make some big money. No, they don't seem to be sellable. Neither are the shields. Uh, looks like we can import hides, though. All right, cool. All right, all right. Um, I think uh, I think we'll just uh, play this. So uh, let's, let's get started, and we'll, we'll talk about the plan as we go. It's kind of in my little brain and we'll talk about it as we go. All right, so let's see uh, what we can do. What I wanna start with is cleaning this up uh, because I wanna get the military recruiting right away. 
for our archers. So if we look at this carefully, we have two forts and we have a recruiter, right? But we've got these weird, there's no blocks, there's no uh, people just wandering around all over the place. No wonder it went to uh, pot. Um, so let, let's clean up, let's start up here. Don't want to do any of this stuff. We're going to get rid of, uh, we can keep the that. Um, I'm just going to actually empty this thing. Uh, it has pottery, throw it away, clay, throw it away. We'll keep the actual um, uh, storage yard. That'll come in handy. But then these potters here don't really have any use for them in that location. Definitely don't have any use for that junk house. Let's put a roadblock here. Now we're going to want to get over here very, very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a ferry landing here and see where we can hook up. Right over here. Okay. So we've got a ferry hook up. Now what we're going to do is um, build a little recruiting block right here. So we're going to have uh, a little work block. So we'll keep the dock here for now and I'm going to go accept all. So turn the trade back on. Uh, this is new functionality with the game now where you can uh, decide what gets traded where with your docks in case you want to have multiple docks. We will only have one dock. It, it will be here for a while. It may move across the river eventually, but we'll see. We'll take, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, let's just undo it. Okay. What I really meant to do, well, let's, first of all, let's uh, get that and get our road and come down one two three like this and this is what i meant to get rid of is that piece right there and we'll put a roadblock here so now we've created a little recruiting loop right here and we'll need a house right there uh, in fact we can put a couple if we want to uh, we'll just put a house right there and that'll be eventually these these uh Right here, we'll take care of that. Uh, and I think right now, while I'm thinking, we'll just go ahead and set this one up to accept things. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so we've got... Uh, let's see. We've got, this is Ra and Osiris, or is that right? Ra and Osiris. And this is Osiris here, and that one's going to have to go away. And we're going to uh, overkill the gods here and put temples to all three of them. We're going to make sure that we can fight crime. And excuse me, I'm going to turn this sound down. It's blaring in my ear. Yeah, everything was just too loud, too loud. I can't take it. All right, we're gonna get rid of this and this and this and this and whatever this abomination is down here. Now the good news is a lot of those people who are being left homeless are actually moved to the new housing we're setting up over here. Um, speaking of which, we're going to clean this out, clean that and that. And we're going to, uh, see, we don't have architecture down here. Speaking of which, we don't have either one here. We, we need, uh, um, architecture and fire for this section. So some of these people will just move into that house and we're going to put some more housing down here because we're going to be a, we're going to set this is going to be our military area where we set up our weapons and all that good stuff and recruit people and all that. So we will have some housing that is hanging off of our new housing block here. We're going to put actually put entertainment right there with a roadblock. So this will be, and uh, we need to block this off over here too. Uh, one, 
and I'm going to go all the way back and make sure that that temple doesn't wander off this way. Okay. And we need a roadblock here. And uh, we, we, we could even just go ahead and this is crap housing right here. You know, it didn't uh, can I control Z that. Can I undo that? Yeah. I got two. I meant to get one. I meant to get just that, I think. So we'll go, we'll put a little booth right here. Okay. So the walkers from this will walk around the blocks and spread entertainment to everyone. We're going to stop it off right there. So now we've got a nice, uh, tight, small loop. Perfect. We've got fire architecture. We don't need a police and a courthouse. One or the other, we'll use the courthouse. And we need, uh, absolutely need a physician in this block. And eventually we'll have a tax collector and, and other stuff. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and put some housing right here to, and here, let these people move in. And then now let's clean up our military section. We're, we're not interested in linen just yet. We'll keep that right there, but I am gonna blow this up just cause I don't care for how it's arranged. And I don't want this double don't want two ways in and out of there because what will happen is if I have somebody here that wants to go over there or vice versa, they'll actually tend to cut through the fields. Well, if they time the inundation wrong uh, or incorrectly, whoops, whoops. Uh, so that's not good. So I'm going to get rid of that architect and I'll put it right back before I forget it. Yeah, slips ease again. Okay. And we're gonna clean this up. And this. And all of this. And that house, worthless house and this. And we we'll, we'll, uh, actually cost us money to take these down, but I don't really want them. They used to matter in the old game. They, they don't matter anymore in the new way that combat's done. All right, so at least right now, I think they're going to change that in some way. Hopefully, they do a good job with it. Another slipsy. There. Okay. So let's uh, cut this off. Cut it off here. Get rid of, well, put a road that comes like this makes that a nice loop and then get rid of this because it's just not necessary okay and while I'm at it let me get the food we'll just get a few fig farms in here uh, I want the road to be able to come out um, probably like that something like that okay and then we'll throw down some fig farms in here since we take advantage of that work camp we already have. One, one, two. Three. Fourth one really won't fit without a second entry. Um, let's put uh, irrigation up through there. Better run it over like that. And some more farming. Ew. Let's see if this will work. Uh, can I get another one? Road. Ah, this, this is... Not my finest work right here. Um, okay. Irrigation. We'll copy this. Um, not my finest hour right here. Uh, 
road like this. <sighs> ah, it'll do. It'll do. All right, so now we can do some farming. We can run in there, grow some figs, take them up here, and we'll set the bazaar to buy figs. All right. Okay, so down here, we're, and we've got plenty of money. We're going to set up uh, an academy. And we're going to make sure that that academy doesn't wander off. Okay, we've got a working academy. We've got a recruiter. And we're going to put in a stockyard, right? There. And we're going to tell this stockyard to accept a quarter yard of wood and three quarters yard of composite bows. And then we're going to throw down a couple of these boyers right away. And we're going to go out to the world map and find the one that's, here we go, Cargo Oasis by land sells us wood. Perfect. They sell us wood and hides. Do we want both? Uh, yeah, we kind of do. Um, hmm. Now I'm thinking my military area is not big enough. Ah, I was hoping it would get rid of that one. Um, we came in here. One, two, like that. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, let's go like this. No, and uh, so we can use this part. We'll go like this. We'll go like that. Add this space here and a little space there. And we'll go cut it off there. Ah, shoot. Doggone it. Um, you know what? Uh, this is awful. Just going to remodel this stinking thing. All right, that can stay there. I think uh, this is costing us a lot of money, but um, let's throw down a recruiter out of the way. Let's get a. Uh, we want a couple of weaponsmiths here. We'll leave space for them. We'll put in boyers here and here we'll put in a uh, storage yard here it will it will do the thing with the wood and the uh, wood and composite bows And then, um, uh, we'll need uh, space here and here, actually, for the, uh, uh, weapons guys. Ah, keep it the wrong button. Uh, oh. So, we're going to want, um, oh, we're going to want to get rid of this in the middle, aren't we? Yeah. So we can hang something off here and off here. Okay, a little wasted space in the middle. All right, so now we've got, now we're recruiting academy trained people. So we will start with eight archers who aren't academy trained, but um, maybe they'll be the first to die, who knows. Uh, and I didn't mean that to wish them ill will, okay. So let's start re start the uh, wood import. Did I already do that? Importing to maintain 800 wood. Okay. 
Then we can do, well, we're not ready for the copper and all that stuff. So that's, that's all we need for right now. And there will be more going on here shortly. Okay. So I think I'm going to go through a couple of these overlays just to make sure. I tend to play too quickly and I think that's a fault. Uh, partially, I don't want you guys to be bored, but I need to slow down and make sure I get this right. And I'm not the brightest guy in the world. I just want to make sure I got everything covered. Uh, do we have the build? Uh, here we go. See? No, 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 that's architecture. Yeah, yeah, we got that. We got everything covered. Except, yeah, that's art. Is that architect right there? It must be. Yeah, okay. And fire. Uh, we've got fire here. We've got it here. We've got it here. All three of our blocks are covered. Okay, we've got everything covered on on this side, so this should be good. And the only thing we're really missing over here to uh, have this up and running would be some entertainment. Ah. Uh, I hate to take this space. This space is becoming precious to me, but I think all we're going to need space for a couple of weapons and an, and two more storage yards. So this room over here we can use. So let's put in a, a, uh, a conservatory and a juggler. Yeah, for this over here. And this side, I think, I think we should be good on this side. All right, so now let's get over to the other side. We want to get that gold. And we've got, we can do, uh, this is a bigger deposit than the one up here. And we can put our palace up here and use this one. But what I want to do is put the palace down here very close to these guys so that we, they can be fully efficient and we can get as much gold out of there as we can. So what we want to do, it of course has to touch the grass. So I want to build a block. I want to make sure I can run a line up through here. So maybe something like right there would be great. Okay. And we're going to use a new block. We're going to use one used by Caesar Allen, I think is his name. He's a contributor on Pharaoh Heaven. He does these big, long, involved, uh, write-ups where he tells you everything he does in his uh, playthrough. It's kind of, they're kind of neat. We want 29, so we have to go one more this way. And then uh, go 14, because we want a total of 15. And 14, because we want a total of 15. And should be like 27, because we want a total of 29. Yeah. So we'll go in the middle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go up four. Over three this way. Over three that way. And then we want 17. So this would be 16 to there. And 16 to there. And cross over. Beautiful. We'll put a roadblock there. So it's a nice contained loop. And, uh, okay, let's get the gold in. That's, we got to have that or we'll run out of money and then nothing else will work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We can get seven mines in there and then we're going to run, build roads. Oh, and just for visual sake, we'll have housing here. Here, here, like this, and then we'll have this, uh, we want it to go over there to get that housing, right? So come down like this, and in. We want it to be a loop, so we'll just send it around this thing, around the palace, come down here, come on in, like that, and if we uh, do this and this, now we've got a recruiting block for our gold mines and our palace, and we'll give them architect and fire. 
architect and fire. So that block is solid, good, and uh, will work once we get some people in here. Now, the people, the immigrants can come across this, even if this is unmanned. But what we want to do now, 893, eh, we can go a little more. We're going to build a block that can staff this guy. So we'll come down like this and go up here high enough. Ah, undo. To make sure we can hit that house right there and then we'll just come in like this. Perfect, okay. And we'll put a blank there. Now, we can do a little bit of farming over here. Um, and get some food going for um, this block. And let's see, like this. And like so. And these guys will need road access. Like so. And then we can irrigate all this. Um, there we go. It's all irrigated. <clears throat> no, no. It isn't. Excuse me. Run our irrigation up like that and then have our road go like that. Okay, we'll put in a, um, a worker camp. Now let me check something. If that can be a clay pit, I, I will... Uh, no, it can't. So we'll go ahead and put a um, work camp right there. Cut it off as nice closed loop. We'll give it fire and architecture. Uh, <laughs> fire and architecture. And we'll put in a couple of um, storage yards. And these will be uh, for the figs okay and then we're just going to sit here and get this housed you know get this running all of this and then we'll start putting services in here so let's see how that goes speed it up and let's go now I said the immigrants can get over here without the manned uh, ferry landing, but we want them want it uh, manned uh, because uh, well, you'll see why later. Uh, very important that it, it, it is uh, a working ferry landing. So we're starting to get people over here. Okay, Seth gives us a blessing. Thank you. Blessings and blessings, and is everybody delighted with us? These two are more so than Osiris, that makes sense. Okay, we'll fix that here in a minute. All right, uh, now we need more workers. Okay, uh, let's see. go um, I want to give these people a raise
Here we go. Got some more people coming in. Seth gives us a blessing. Ra gives us a blessing. All right, we can uh, give them water. There we go. They've all got water. We've got a little bit of unemployment so we can start putting stuff in we need. So we're going to need a, a physician for this block. Now, how much unemployment do we have? Now, we're short one worker. Okay. Now, we'll go over back over here and see if we can add any more housing. We probably can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save a spot for a tax. Well, let's just put it in right now. While I'm over here thinking about it, we'll put a tax collector on this block. And we'll put some more housing here and here. And we could put a little more actually right there. wouldn't hurt. And is this one irrigated? Oh, it is irrigated. So it's, it's close enough. All right, good. Blessings, and we got, we got some unemployment. So uh, now we can put in some more stuff. We can put in um, architect and fire, architect and fire, and a tax collector for this block. And we can start doing the gods. We'll start with Osiris. And I'm gonna, we're going to overkill the temples. Three, four, and, and crime as well. Crime, like so. So we've got fire and architect and a physician and crime. And we've got our water supply and um, farming going. And we've got, still got some unemployment. Let's go ahead and give them a bazaar. And have it by uh, figs. Now, are we getting any thing over here? Yes, we're getting wood and we're getting um, the bows, the compo composite bows. We got ten of them made already. Good deal. Good deal. Got more unemployment. Um, are we missing anything here? Yeah, yeah. We can we can go like this. Uh, we can go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six, and cross like that, and put in housing here and here. And I'm going to hold off on anything else until I see somebody move into that, that, that housing up there. Yeah, come on, people. Beautiful new, new homes for sale. Here we go. There we go. All right. Now we've got, got some housing in here. So let's go... Um, we're going to put two uh, pavilions, and they're going to need their own private firehouse because they are going to be separated from uh, the block. So, so there's one on each side so that when entertainers come in through the only entrance, if they're going to this one, they will go this way. And if they're going to this one, they will go this way. That's the shortest route. And that way we get all of our housing covered uh, by entertainers uh, going up there. 
So we got that, so let's put in some um, uh, dance school and music conservatory and uh, juggler school. Okay, we still got unemployment. So let's go, um, let's go. We're gonna want a dentist in here. And Okay, the gold keeps pouring in and we keep running up our unemployment Ugh. Uh, we need more jobs um, let's see what are some of the things we can do production we can do all oh, the granite quarries we could start working on granite let's let's just do a whole granite mining thing down here it'll help us control the unemployment well, I think let's not forget the whole point of this mission is it's hard. Okay. Do we have 16? Yeah, we do. All right. We are going to equip those guys with composite bows. So now the, the archers in this fort have composite bows. We're going to keep making the bows and equip these guys with them. Right. And then if we lose any soldiers along the way, uh, we'll have to give them a new bow as well when we recruit their replacement. And let's just sanity check. So I want to go over here and make sure I've got all this right. Uh, we've got basically three blocks we need to look at. So let's look at our risks. Malaria, of course not. Disease, we got that under control. Crime, we're good. What I'm looking for is green and the building that supports that, right? That helps us with that. Collapse, green in the building, green in the building, green in the building, good. And fire. Uh, one, two, three, and actually a fourth. Okay, good. So our, so we don't have, we don't seem to have any risks in our uh, build so far. That's good. And we have high unemployment. Well, let's fix that <sighs> as best we can. Um, oh, well, actually, what I, I started saying, let's go do the uh, granite, but there's something more pressing. Let's go up here because we've got this up here. Remember, we can do copper. So let's go like this, and let's go across here. Uh, it's 32 is kind of the width of this thing. So half of that would be 16, half of that would be eight. So if we skip eight, if we go up here, go to the extreme, uh, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll skip eight, and then we'll do 15. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. I think 15. Uh, yeah, it's 15 by 29, so we'll do 28 this way. And we'll do 28 this way. Which really, because of that angle, really looks like this is way past this one, doesn't it? But it, if you look, it isn't. Okay. And we'll come in from this end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right in the middle. Go up four and three and three and then we'll go up 16 because we want a total of 17 and 16 and across and we need uh, not much housing let's just put two here and then we'll put uh, one right here I know we're going to need and let's give it just the basics that it has to have, and then we'll see how much more housing we want to get. We've got to really keep this uh, 
particularly since we're taxing these people, we've got to keep the a tight rein on our um, um, uh, unemployment. Make sure people stay happy. So we'll give this block Tax and physician and water. Do we overkill the gods again? Yeah, sure. Um, one, two. Three, make sure we don't have crime. Four, uh, and I'm, uh, and I'm going to put some more housing here just so I can count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and it would be six. So right in here, is that all right? Come back from that. Am I goof this up? Seventeen. That's correct. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, yes, I have goofed up. All right. Try this again. Should have started there. One, two, three, four, five. That would be six. And then we'll put in. Um, architecture here we'll put a fire one two three four right in the middle of this uh, somehow the arch no it did there's the architect so we've got architect we've got one two fire we've got architect and fire and crime and the god and water and a physician and um, tax collector and we can give them a Bizarre, not that it matters right now. We'll say to eat figs. And how much, what are we producing? 3,200 people's worth of food. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave that like that for now. And let's, uh, let's let this run until we get some people up here and uh, see how our employment looks and then we'll get our copper industry going. Okay, Seth's going to help us out next time we get attacked. Our city ratings going up. And there it goes people up here and we'll see what happens up here. Uh, okay, we, we still have a lot of unemployment, don't we? Well, it's getting less. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we got plenty. So let's set up our copper industry. So we're going to go production copper mines. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. All right, and we want to loop here. And we want to make sure it gets to that house right there. So let's go like that and then come out one like this that'll do it close off the loops and give it architecture and uh, fire and a uh, storage yard And we will have it accept all copper. Uh, okay, we're getting invaded in six months. The exports are, are worth more, which right now is irrelevant. It'll mean something in a minute. Well, in several minutes. Okay, they, these are all up and running, and we've got, we still have unemployment. Okay, jeez, I hate. Uh, 
it's hard to create enough jobs. All right, well, let's just create some jobs down here. All right, so what we want to do now is, uh, well, one problem is we're growing here, unfortunately. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's put in storage yard here and a couple of uh, uh, weaponsmiths. One, two, actually we can do three, four. <laughs> we'll just do extras. Now this, this one is just going to run off and get all, get all copper, okay? And we're going to have another one here that's going to run and get all copper. And this is where I was saying how important it is that this has to be staffed so that those guys can take the ferry to go up there to where our copper mines are and bring the copper back. Okay? So here we go. And by the way, we could have put the weapons up there at the copper, made the weapons and brought the weapons back, but I wanted to, uh, to do the thing with the copper. Either way. Either way should work. So let's see, where are we? Well, they idolize us now. Our unemployment's down. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to get invaded here real soon. Seth's already promised to help us out. They have composite bows. We have 12. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to say... It forces you to do them all. Okay, Seth struck them down. Let's go to the battle. A few survived, but we've got really nice academy trained, well armed archers, so no problem with that battle. Okay. Uh, unemployment's 14. This is going to be a constant battle to keep the employment uh, from running wild on us. All right. Uh, I like that. We're starting to get these. Uh, Let's do this. Let's do just so we don't have a problem with this. Let's do a little little cosmetic stuff up through here. Got all ordinary cottages up here. And while we're at it, and see here's the see this guy right there? He's one of those cart pushers who ran up there to get the uh, copper. Now let's do a quick risk assessment up here. Uh, malaria, disease, we've got a doctor. Crime, we've got the courthouse. Architect, we can't really see it. There's one here. And there's one there, okay. And fire, we've got the fire and the fire. Good, all right, so everything's cool up here. Shouldn't have any Awful surprises. I think we're going to stay right here with that. That's all good. Gold is good. Uh, all right, let's get let's get on the granite. Um, let's build a granite area over here. Let's just do, and we don't need a million of them, but. Uh, Granite quarries, we can do one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do a bunch just because, yeah, of the unemployment. Um, actually, in fact, that one's gonna to have to go away because I, I want this to be a clean loop. I want it to be a loop like this, like this. It can come down here and recruit. Actually, there'll be housing right there. So let's make sure that some housing goes in right there. Or some people move in right here. You can go like that. Yeah. And then we'll have it come up like this and around like that. 
and make that a block. Architecture and fire. And then we're going to need 200 granite for that large obelisk, which is like um, 32, 732. We need three storage yards uh, to, to do the large one, so why don't we just go ahead and set up three? Uh, one, two, three. And they can accept all granite. And I think I just did a math fail because that just 36, that, that doesn't even do 100. Um, huh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, how much unemployment we got? Uh, let's run this for a minute and see what happens. And somebody has to move in right there or I'm going to have to redesign this. Come on, people. It's a beautiful site. You can build, custom build. There we go. All right. Uh, and we have high unemployment. So we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four. And we're going to have these get the granite. That way, we keep emptying out the ones that are closest to our uh, quarries. Okay. Unemployment is still high. Okay. Hmm. Uh, well, we could set up a jewelry business. Uh, oh, and pottery. We could. We could do an overkill pottery. That would be a good way to do it. Uh, why don't we do one of those six and eight kind of potteries, which is probably more than we could ever use, but... Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And eight potters. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll put in um, one, two, three. We'll put in uh, two storage yards to hold the pottery. And one storage yard to hold clay. And let's see what happens to our unemployment now. <laughs> we're actually short. Good. That's actually a little bit good because we're going to develop our housing up here. Um, uh, one, one of the things we can do, rather than farm this, which we're going to do, we're going to end up farming this as well. But what we can do now is set up... Um, this guy right here and say get all figs okay and off he goes and they'll run down here and start taking figs and we can do uh, we can probably just go ahead and build this farming up a little bit more Four. And we can even put in another one of these to soak up some employment. <laughs> even though we need we're short. <laughs> Oops. Okay. And we could even I mean we could to keep these guys it doesn't matter because we get so many copper mines, but we can just store more copper if we want to. Okay. 
You know, we're needing people, but I want to see what happens when we start feeding up here. That's what we've already started. Uh, money's looking good. It's going up. In spite of all this uh, construction. And let's do our entertainment up here. Now somehow they are getting entertainment. Apart from the pre, I, I, yeah, I'm not sure about it. from the presence of the arenas, I, of the venues, I guess. Six. Uh, that. Make sure we get somebody moved in there. Shouldn't be a problem because we have unemployment, which means people, yeah, they love us. They don't mind being short workers. That touches our productivity, but it keeps everybody working. Everybody has a job, right? We got a crocodile running around killing some people. All right, got some employment there, so now we can go ahead and put in um, one, two, and a, their own private fire department, and we can put in uh, a dance school and a conservatory and juggler school Cyrus isn't happy. Okay. We can certainly give, put in the temple complex to Osiris. And I think if we look at um, here, I think we got enough granite to actually build a monument. We do. Good lord. Alright, let's 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 build one. We can put our um I, I think I'd like to build them. It'd be neat to build them out here, wouldn't it? Can we do that? Uh granite. I don't think we can staff this. I mean, we could temper we could junk house it and temporarily staff it and build the ovalus in this little island. I think that'd be kinda cool looking. Small obelisk right there and right there and then a large obelisk won't fit at all. So let's just scratch that idea. Let's build it out. Uh, uh, let's, let's build them right out, right out here. Okay. So we're going to build a small obelisk right here. We'll put a road, road connection here. And we'll put in, uh, we've got some wood that's coming here so we can use that. So we're gonna put in a carpenter, carpenter's guild, and a couple of masons.
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, goodness, goodness. Uh, Might have goofed here. Uh, a lot going on here. Uh, ba -ba -ba, infantry. Let's start building up our infantry. And we should be able to... Yeah. So now they've all got composite bows. Seth's going to bless us, but let's get that infantry going. And we, we need a... Um, need this to hold weapons. Because we probably could have had a whole bunch of weapons already done if I hadn't goofed up. Because we've got four... Yeah, see that? We could have had weapons already ready. And we want to do shields. We're making money. So let's go um, with a couple of shield makers. Do we still have unemployment? Oh no, I'm, are we still waiting, waiting on people? Yes. Uh, there, let's, let's get these two things to pop. Okay, so I, I, you know, uh, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, I want to set up a trade. We want to sell copper. And it sells by water to Buhin. And we will sell copper uh, when it's over zero. And that's why this is here, to bring copper here and have it ready for this uh, uh, dock to trade. Uh, one month. Seth, you better help us out. See, look at that. Oh, we just sold copper. Look at our money go crazy. Ooh, big, big, big battle, but we won. We did lose a little bit. Uh, let's equip that one archer with a bow. Ah, okay. Attican, Osiris is upset. Can you not deal with that? All right, so let us put... Crap, where do we want to put it? I, I, uh, I want to get that temple down for a bunch of reasons. So let's just go ahead, get this temple complex, and I think we'll put it... Uh, where we can then build around it, right? So we can, we'll, right now we'll just set it up as a um, uh, like that. And he can collapse, so we so we're gonna put a um, an architect right there. And we're, we definitely want these two altars, right? They're the altar and the oracle. The altar uh, means people need less supplies, and the oracle says that our hunting and or fishing will be better. So that should make Osiris, he should go from resentful to delighted here as soon as this is staffed, and it, almost, it is almost completely uh, displeased. He's not gaining ground. He's not, he doesn't seem to understand. That is or Yeah, that's Osiris. All right, I gotta, I gotta see. Now, did we just miss an invasion? I thought we were supposed to have one. Where are we? We're short 31 workers. This will develop some more. We got so that'll give us some more growth. We can always ah eh, crap. Um, super easy way to get more head count. Just buy pottery. There we go. Now we've got plenty of space. And I wonder. I need a carpenter. I need him now. Okay, he's working on it right as we speak. And there he goes. There goes a carpenter out there to build the scaffolding. And then we'll get stonemasons out there to do their thing. There we go. 
and has Osiris ever settled down? Yeah, he's 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 the opposite now. He's the opposite of resentful. He's delighted. Okay. Um, All right, let's stop right there. I think I think this is a really good, really good start. Um, this is this is managing unemployment, really. It's just an abundance of riches that you have. So uh, we're going to just keep expanding. We're going to keep building. You know, we'll get into beer. Uh, we'll slowly work our way up to where we can start feeding uh, our our uh, city different things. Because remember, we got that seven thousand pop and a decent culture rating, which I haven't. You know, we're 25 now, we need schools, of course we do. And we'll get into the, all that stuff in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Pharaoh, A New Era video. Thank you.